Hi, I'm Nick Hawkins, Director of Product Management for Akamai, focusing on enterprise security. I'd just like to take a few minutes in this video to introduce you to a concept called Zero Trust. It's been around for a little while from a network security perspective, but it's really starting to gain momentum now and is becoming the new architecture that most organizations are looking at for their internal application security. The challenge that organizations are having to solve now is that unlike in the past where users were fixed in their location inside a building and applications were fixed inside your own private data center, all of that of course has changed. Users expect to be able to connect from any device in any environment. Your applications are migrating to the cloud and in many cases are spread across multiple cloud providers. How do you create a consistent security perimeter that envelops all of your users and all of your apps and ensures that your systems, your environments are safe, yet still providing the business with the flexibility and the power that is required for today's operations. Zero Trust is a way of enabling this. It allows you to move from a traditional sort of castle and moat perimeter security, where all of your assets are behind your security stack, and allows you to actually push connectivity away from your network into a cloud-based environment, for example, using an identity-aware proxy. There's three key principles of Zero Trust that I think are really fundamental to understanding the problem that it's trying to solve and how it does that. The first principle is to always assume that the network is hostile. You have to design your security architectures on the assumption that your users' machines will get compromised with malware. Users will get phished. Security updates won't get done in a timely manner. And all of that will lead to a compromised machine. The second principle is to ensure that network location does not give a user any additional privileges. Just because I'm in your office connected to your network should not in any way grant me additional access rights to a user who is outside of your network. That way it enables you to move away from technologies like VPN where you're effectively creating a layer four tunnel and allowing open access across your network to somebody who has the right credentials. The third and probably most important principle of zero trust is that every single request and flow across your network needs to both be authenticated and authorized. You have to both confirm the identity of the user as well as then also ensuring that that user has the rights and the privilege to access that specific application. If they don't, they never even get to see the application server and they're kept at arm's length via a cloud proxy so they never ever have a direct connection into your data center. So it's just a very short introduction to Zero Trust. Hopefully that gives you a, a brief introduction to the capabilities and the power that it can deliver. I'm Nick Hawkins from Akamai. Thanks again for watching and this has been a video for CyberFrat. Look forward to talking to you again soon.